This patient has been with us uh, for more than two years. He presented first with a mixed ulcer uh, on the external part of the right foot, as you can see it, and had been successfully treated. Very nice thing that you can see here, it is a biofilm. How do we know it's a biofilm? Because of its slimy structure, the adherence to the wound bed, and as you can see, it's no bleeding or anything underneath. We've known for several decades now that under natural conditions, microorganisms like to, like to aggregate. That's what we call a biofilm. One of the key properties of, of biofilms in a biomedical context is that they are very difficult to eradicate. And um, if you are having a biofilm into the wound and you can't get rid of it, you are going to spend lots of money, um, lots of visits, lots of medical care, uh, low quality of life. So the biofilms are um, our enemy. One of the hallmarks of, of biofilm related infections is that it actually uh, requires very long uh, treatments with, with, if possible, high doses of antimicrobial agents. The long-term use of antibiotics um, inevitably leads to the development of antimicrobial resistance. So we need alternatives. It is very hard to prevent a biofilm from forming, but it's even harder to get rid of a biofilm once it has formed. So that's what we call the difference between biofilm inhibition and biofilm er eradication. And what was surprising to me is to see that some of these medical grade uh, honeys were actually capable of eradicating microbial biofilms. And that's something that is, that is, that is not easy. That's not something that, that, that you will see with each and every compound. So yeah, that was to some extent definitely surprising. So what we're going to do, we're going to put again on Mesitran uh, for two reasons. If there is any biofilm left, it's going to eliminate it and also preventative. So we are going to avoid the formation of biofilms. We looked at uh, biofilms uh, uh, caused by Pseudomonas. It's uh, uh, a typical biofilm producer in wounds. The medical grade honey performed very well on the Pseudomonas bacterium, but also on the Pseudomonas biofilm. And what uh, was really surprising was that also the additives like vitamin C and vitamin E also had some antibacterial effect on its own. Different compounds, different ingredients of, of some of the formulations we tested seem to work synergistically, so seem to, to increase each other's activity. That was something I would not have uh, predicted uh, from the beginning. I, I don't see the wound all the time, but I, I trust Daniela's uh, judgment and analysis of the wound as the time goes by, and I'm far more, more positive. And I believe that uh, I saved my foot already. <laughs>